I'm Tony with Earth Files Earth History, and we're going to take a look at what they call Comet Wild 2. And there's artifacts on this comet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate to the other side of the comet so we can take a look at these artifacts. And I'm going to, at first, I'm going to make some light adjustments because all these images have been tampered with and altered. So I'm going to try to restore it the best way I, that I can. Okay, I slightly darkened it. The artifact is here, and there's one over here. These were the two best ones. So I'm going to take this image and flip it up and enhance this artifact. When I start making adjustments to this image, there's going to be a three main artifacts that you're going to be able to see really clear. And there's a uh, artifact here that you'll see in just a minute. There's a plate of glass that's going to get clearer. And this looks like an impact crater, but it isn't because you're going to see a wall underneath it. And I'm going to show you further on into the video why this isn't an impact crater. I'm going to start cleaning this image up so we can see the details of these artifacts. Here's one of the artifacts that's starting to show itself. Here's the plates of glass. They're attached to this glass cube. And then as you notice, there's a, a wall here where this glass dome used to be. With this image cleaned up, now we can get a really good view of these artifacts. Here's a structure, perfect 90 degrees square with a rod coming out of it. Here's a ring. Here's what looks like glass plates because you can see through them. Here's this glass cube. It's got a perfect 90 degree angle on it. You can see the wall to what used to be a, a glass dome. This is glass that's still attached to it. And then after the millions of years, it's deteriorating and slowly just completely falling apart. Now, these fuzzy parts are glass. And we know this is glass because you can see this glass through this glass structure. And if you look at this, what looks like an impact crater, it has a geometric figure to it. And it goes from here to here, there, there, and there. The rest of it's deteriorated or I, I can't get the correct angle to see this whole area. But this is not unusual for the Anunnaki because they built most of their structures in geometric formations. And a little bit later on the video, these bright spots, this is glass, and I'm going to show this to you. And there's a truth about this comet that I will be revealing later on in the video. So now we're going to go to the color portions and we're going to really see some great detail. In this first color image, I'm going to make some adjustments in a second. And it's going to bring out what's left of the surface glass and the outline of it. But before I make those adjustments, notice this structure underneath this artificial structure. I believe this was attached to this at one time. And over the millions of years, it's shifted away from it. But this support column goes below the surface. And in a little bit, I'm going to show you what I think it's attached to. So I'm going to start making these adjustments. And I'm going to make one more adjustment so we can see the outline of the glass. Now you can see where the surface glass is. Now the surface glass actually came from a glass canopy that covered this facility. And if you've ever seen my videos on the glass domes on the moon and the glass canopy, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So the Anunnaki built their megalithic glass structures. They build their cities and other facilities inside of it. 
they also would have glass stones with facilities inside of it. So I would imagine that if a meteorite or there was a crack in the glass canopy and it was decompressing, they would go into these other glass facilities and be protected until the glass canopy could be repaired. Now we're going to look at these structures here and I'm going to enlarge it. This image was impossible to restore and it was due to the angle of the light and the shadow up, shadowing of it. And you can tell it's perfectly square, 90 degree angles here. And it looks like that the top of it caved in over the millions of years. And then the smoky part through here, this is glass. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the really interesting part of this video. When you take a good look at this comet, you'll notice that it's very proportionate. And the technical information said it's three miles radius. But notice down in this area, I'm gonna enlarge it. And there's a ridge, this thing is hollow. And you can see some of the artifacts and structures right here where the, the shadow is. And then I flipped it over and you can see the sides. Notice right here, there's a perfect 90 degrees. So this isn't a comet. This is either a space station or some type of facility or maybe even a, a weapon system. I, I don't know, but this is artificial, this structure. The only reason that it looks like a comet is because it's got so much damage from being pegged from meteorites and space debris. And then plus it's deteriorating over millions of years. And I flipped it back. There's that ridge again. You can really see it. So I enhanced it and there's a, a shell or a like layer around it. And then this is the main part of the structure. And then as I begin to adjust the color, you're gonna be able to see these structures pop out and you can tell that this is hollow. With this image enhanced and brightened, you can tell it's hollow now. You can see down into it a little bit. You see the 90 degrees and you can see the wall. So apparently this outer shell has broken off over the past millions of years and I'm going to enhance it. With the image being enhanced in this color, now you can see the outer shell, the structure of the spacecraft. You can tell it's deteriorating and separating. You can see down into it deeper. You can see the wall that extends down. And this piece here was probably attached to this and it's breaking away. So this isn't a comet. This is some type of spacecraft. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. This is Tony with Earth Files, Earth History, signing out.